expansion of chip production capacity is not uncommon in the semiconductor industry. TSMC has built factories in the United States and Japan. SMIC has also formulated mature chip expansion plans in four cities in China. Recently, Hua Hong Semiconductor also officially announced that it plans to invest 45 billion yuan in China to expand the production of 12-inch wafers. It makes people wonder why so many Chinese companies spend huge sums of money to expand mature chip production capacity when the world's major chip manufacturers are fiercely competing for high-end chips. What does this mean? In short, high-end chips are the goal, but mature chips are the main force. So, can China, which has increasingly developed mature chip manufacturing processes, break through the predicament as soon as possible? Hi. Welcome to Tech Teller. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's move on to today's topic. The market's demand for chips is changing all the time, and it takes only a few months for the demand for chips to go from skyrocketing to plummeting, and the industry can show another state of affairs. During 2021, hundreds of industries around the world will be immersed in the atmosphere of chip shortage. TSMC announced that it would spend 100 billion US dollars to expand production of chips, and ASML revealed that a company obtained chips by dismantling washing machines. Coupled with the rising prices of wafers, materials, equipment, etc., the atmosphere of chip shortage has swept the world. However, in the second half of 2022, the shortage of chips has relieved, and consumers will no longer have a strong purchase demand for smartphones and computers, resulting in overcapacity of chips. From January to November last year, China reduced the import of 84 billion chips. Along with the reduction in chip orders from US companies, TSMC's chip capacity utilization rate also decreased. As a result, giants such as TSMC have announced plans to reduce capital expenditures. However, SMIC has presented a different situation, and has not changed the chip factory project. Its 12-inch wafer production line projects in Shenzhen, Beijing, Tianjin, and Shanghai have not changed. Moreover, the production line in Shanghai was capped at the end of last year, with a planned monthly production capacity of 100,000 wafers. On the one hand, there is a decline in demand for chips, and on the other hand, the continuous promotion of factory projects does not seem to meet the changes in market demand. Hua Hong Semiconductor also expanded its production of 12-inch wafers. On January 18, Hua Hong Semiconductor issued an announcement announcing its production expansion plan. The announcement showed that it had signed a joint venture agreement with multiple parties, and the joint venture company injected 4.02 billion US dollars in capital. In addition, the company will raise $2.68 billion in debt financing. In other words, the company will expand its 12-inch wafer production line with the support of nearly 45 billion yuan of funds for the production of chips in the 65 55 nanometer to 40 nanometers process. You may know something about SMIC. After all, it is the largest and most technologically advanced chip manufacturer in mainland China. Most people are relatively unfamiliar with Hua Hong Semiconductor. In fact, Hua Hong Semiconductor is taking a different route from the mainstream. SMIC has mastered the mass production technology of 14 nanometers process chips, while Hua Hong Semiconductor mainly focuses on mature and characteristic process fields. Based on the 0.35M, 55NM process, it has certain advantages in semiconductor power devices and characteristic integrated circuits. Hua Hong Semiconductor knows where its advantages lie. In the past few years, the capacity utilization rate has been at a relatively high level. Even if it adopts a special process route, it can still get the support of customers in the market. Therefore, in order to further expand production capacity and meet more customer needs, it decided to spend 45 billion yuan in a joint venture to expand the production of 12-inch wafers. Compared with 8-inch wafers, the scale of chips produced by such wafers will be larger, which is also the main direction for the majority of chip manufacturers to expand production. What does it mean for manufacturers to expand capacity? Manufacturers will not expand production for no reason, it is related to tens of billions of investment projects and it is impossible to make a decision lightly, so the expansion project must be deliberate. 
the expansion of Hua Hong Semiconductor's production may mean that the chip market demand is not saturated, especially in the field of mature chips. Although TSMC has encountered customers cutting orders, the capacity utilization rate of many chip nodes has been reduced, but these are mainly concentrated in high-end process areas such as 7 nanometers and 5 nanometers. Consumers no longer purchase smartphones, computers, and other consumer electronic devices in large quantities, resulting in the chips equipped with them being unable to sell. However, the production capacity of mature chips is still strong. Even TSMC is expanding its 28 nanometers chip production line at its Nanjing factory, investing 2.8 billion US dollars. In addition, SMIC has four chip production lines on hand, which will be used for the production of 28 nanometers to 180 nanometers process chips. The demand for high end chips has declined, but mature chips still have great application value in the Internet of Things, smart cars, edge computing, and other fields. Now that Hua Hong Semiconductor has joined the production expansion team, it also shows the fact that mature chips are not saturated. As for what kind of market share can be obtained, the key lies in production capacity. In fact, the market share of advanced process chips is very small, according to the 2021 report of the China Semiconductor Industry Association. The market share of advanced process chips below 7 nanometers is only 2% while semiconductor chips with processes of 14 nanometers and above 14 nanometers account for 70%, and chips in this range can basically be commercially mass-produced in China. Besides, in TSMC's first quarter 2022 financial report, 14 nanometers and above process revenue accounted for 60%. Third, the downstream market for chips with advanced processes is shrinking, while the downstream market for chips with processes above 14 nanometers is expanding rapidly. High-end chips below 7 nanometers are mainly used in consumer electronics, such as smartphones and tablets. From the first negative growth calculation in 2018, global smartphone shipments have shrunk for four consecutive years. Smartphones are the largest terminal application provider of high-end chips, and its sales decline will inevitably lead to a shrinking demand for chips. In recent years, many mobile phone manufacturers such as Apple, Xiaomi, and Huawei have turned to the field of electric vehicles, precisely because the smartphone market has become saturated. Chips with a 14 nanometers and above process are mostly used in new energy vehicles. And China is the well-deserved king in this field. In short, the advanced process chips have never been China's main force, but a faint force to attract the attention of the United States. China's real main force is the backward chips with a process of more than 14 nanometers. It will use China's advantages in the entire industrial chain and export advantages in the field of new energy vehicles to drive the rapid expansion of the market territory of China's semiconductor manufacturing industry. After gaining a monopoly advantage, it will launch an attack on the high-end chip positions dominated by the United States. All in all, chip manufacturers such as TSMC, SMIC, and Hua Hong Semiconductor have announced their own chip expansion plans, and all of them involve mature chips. It's a huge market, with even greater demand than high-end chips. It is expected that sufficient orders will be released in the market to lay the foundation for the development of the industry. Well, thanks for listening. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that are worth spreading every day. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.